peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. These are the words given to us by the one whose birth we celebrate this day. This day, we remember the proclamations of the angels. This day, we remember the miraculous star in the heavens. This day, we remember the rejoicing and awe of shepherds and kings. Yes, this day, we remember the miracles that occurred on that holy night so long ago. And we rejoice in the assurance that what was true then is true now, today, in this very hour. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. There's peace in the world tonight. There is peace in the world tonight. Love's most radiant light. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. There has never been such a sight. There is peace in the world tonight Love's most radiant light The promise of old That the prophets foretold There is peace in the world tonight There is peace in the world tonight Love's most radiant love. Joy to the world. Joy to the world. Mm, the Lord is come. There has never been such a sign. There is peace in the world tonight. Love's most radiant love. Love's most radiant love. The promise of all that the prophets foretold there is peace in the world tonight the people walking in darkness have seen a great light on those living in the land of the shadow of death a light has dawned for unto us a child is born unto us a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. This is an account of the birth of Jesus. This is a timeless story of ancient promises made and promises kept. Promises that began three millennia before the miracle of Bethlehem. These promises 
by the Lord God Jehovah were given to a man named Abram. As for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of many nations. No longer will you be called Abram. Your name will be Abraham. For I have made you a father of many nations. I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the cities of their enemies and through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. Yes, the promise was made and the promise was a long time in coming. There were 14 generations in all from Abraham to King David, 14 from David to the exile to Babylon, and 14 from the exile to the Christ.